Everybody needs healthcare information and you either get it from your doctor or you look it up on Google and in both cases the results are not generally that great. That's why UMD was created is to help people get the information they need when they need it to improve their health. Artificial intelligence I still think is very early days and there's a lot of confusion about what artificial intelligence is. Having said that, artificial intelligence is, um, is going to provide a lot of value, to, I think, to the economy and it will change many, many things. There'll be a shift in jobs for sure in many industries. I don't think it's going to be a cost thing, it's going to be more of a, also an accuracy, a reliability, a uniform constant level of high quality that you can get from machines that is very difficult to obtain from humans. In the specific field of healthcare, there is clearly fantastic opportunity because you have a healthcare system globally, not just in the UK, that is fundamentally incapable of coping with the demand and the supply, it's extremely limited and is actually shrinking. You know, if you look at the latest news, you know, there's an article recently saying that two out of five GPs in uh, Southwest England are planning to quit. So how do you put a stop to that is by moving a lot of what today is done by the healthcare services onto the patients themselves. We are very close now to being able to give people a number of tools that enable them to do what I call assisted self-care. If you look at the statistics, 90% of visits to the GP are for minor ailments. So imagine a world where technology and artificial intelligence understand you, you're going to transform the economics of national health services. I think healthcare is going to be one of the pioneering areas because there is the biggest need. I don't think we're going to lose jobs. I think jobs will be shifted. The industrial revolution didn't make people unemployed. It just created new types of jobs, so people had to reskill. Many of these changes will be about enabling people to embrace and know how to best use artificial intelligence. We believe that the single biggest problem in healthcare is indeed access to the right information. The health journey starts always with a consultation with a doctor who is human and is fallible. So your journey in many, many cases starts with the wrong step. You go through the wrong door. Now imagine if you could start every single time through the best possible door. How much time you would save, how much money, and how much more likely you'd be to be healthier. The vision for your MD is to give every single human being the best, most personal, most trustworthy health information they need when they need it, completely free of charge through a mobile phone. Healthcare is a human right. It's Article 25 of the United Nations states that. If we can prove that this technology is as accurate, sometimes better, than a GP, not necessarily at diagnosing you, but at understanding what are the most likely issues that you have, then you step into a, a new territory.